little sunshines, Miss Cindy here. For this week's fine motor activity, we're gonna make a flower garden. So perfect for spring, all you're gonna need is a piece of foam, whether that's a pool noodle, a little floaty device from the dollar store, or some of those craft um, foam blocks that you use for floral arrangements. We're gonna need some golf tees or popsicle sticks or even some of these like garden pickets that you can also find at the Dollar Tree and then also some either pictures of flowers, fake flowers that you can hot glue or attach somehow um, onto your stick. Um, so how we're going to do this activity is we're going to hold onto our foam piece, whatever type of foam you have, and we're going to take our flower sticks and push them into our garden bed. So we're going to push, push, just like this. So this activity is really great to work on that pre-writing grasp, the way we're holding onto the stick like this to push it in. We're working on that finger strength, um, using those strong muscles to push that stick into the foam, and also bilateral coordination. We're holding on to the foam with one hand and pushing our flower, bed, flower into the bed with the other hand. If you're not wanting to hold it up like this, you can also set the foam on the table and have your kiddo hold on to the foam piece just like they would hold on to a piece of paper while coloring, but instead they're holding on to the foam piece on the table and sticking the flower into the foam just like this. Um, if your kiddo isn't there just yet as far as being able to push that uh, stick in by themselves, you can set up the garden first for them and we can work on pulling out the flowers just like that. Still using that same uh, pre-writing grasp to pull those flowers out, but not having to use as much strength um, as pushing it into the foam. You can also push the flowers in beforehand to create holes so it makes it a little bit easier to push the flowers in instead of having to make that initial hole themselves. Um, another way you can use this activity is to work on counting your numbers so we can count how many flowers we're pushing in. One flower, two flowers, three flowers, four flowers. The other thing you can do is work on colors depending on um, what colors your flowers are, your pictures or your fake flowers. We can try and find the pink flower. Hey, how about we find the orange flower? So we can work on that color recognition there as well. Hope you guys like this activity. Have a good week. Bye-bye.